is the cost price of two products are same. If the cost price price of two products are same, are same while selling, he made a profit of profit and loss of. 20% and 25%. What is the overall profit or loss percentage? What is the overall profit or loss percentage? If the cost price of two products are same, while selling he made a profit of and loss of 20 and 25 percentage, what is the overall profit or loss percentage? Second question. If the selling price of two products are same, if the selling price of two products are same, while selling, he made a profit and loss of twenty and twenty five percentage. What is the overall profit or loss percentage? What is the overall profit or loss percentage? If the cost price of two products are same while selling, he made a profit and loss of 20 and 25. What is the overall profit or loss percentage? If the selling price of two products are same while selling, he made a profit and loss of 20 and 25 percentage. What is the overall profit or loss? The reason behind solving this question is here there is a notation a plus b by 2. Here you know how to solve if profit and loss percentage are same. Some notation will be there x square by 100 percentage. Let us not use that notation. Listen carefully. Now listen carefully to this solution. First solution. If the cost price of two products are same, while selling he made a profit and loss of 20 and 25 percentage. Profit percentage in the first transaction is 20. Loss percentage in the second transaction is 25. Profit is 20, loss is 25. Are I solve it now? Profit is 20. First one. Profit is 20. Next one, loss is 25. Listen carefully. You don't require any notation. Loss is 25. Profit percentage, 20 percentage is 1 by 4. Profit is always calculated on cost price. That means on cost price, <coughs> there is a profit 1. That means selling price will become 6. Profit is 20 percentage 1 by 5. If the cost price is 5, on 5 I got a profit 1. Selling price will be 6. Listen to the next one. Loss is 25 percentage, which is 1 by 4. That means on cost price 4, I got a loss of 1. That means selling price will be 3. Are you all? Okay? But the question is, cost price of two products are same, but this is 5, this is 4. They are not same. Make them same. Make them same. Take the LCM or take the common multiple. Multiply by four. Multiply by five. This will become twenty four twenty four twenty five fifty. What is the total cost price? Total cost price is twenty plus twenty. This will be forty. What will be the total selling price? Total selling price will be. 24 plus 15, 39. CP is greater than SP, so this will be loss. Loss will be one out of 40, which is 2.5 percentage. 2.5 percentage. Cost price of two products are same. While selling, he made a profit and loss of 20 and 25. The reason behind discussing this is, we not only by using this logic, not only cost price of two products. Three products, four products, five products, n products. You can solve. Let us not de develop a notation that a plus b by two is cost price of two products are same. Very simple way to understand. Cost price of two products are same. While selling, he made a profit and loss of 
20 and 25. Profit and loss is always calculated on cost price. 20 percentage is 1 by 5. So if the cost price is 5, profit is 1, selling price will be 6. Loss is 1 by 4. Another transaction. Cost price per second is 4. Loss is 1, selling price will be 3. But 5 and 4 are different. Question is cost price of two products are same. They both should be same. For it to be same, make the LCM of 5 and 4. Multiply by 4, multiply by 5. 24, 24, 25, 15. Total cost price is 20 plus 20, 40. Total selling price is 24 plus 15, 39. CP is greater than SP, so loss is 40 minus 39, 1 out of 40. Not only 2 products, 3 products, 4 products, any products you can sum. First one clear. Second one. Second one. Second one only the change in question. I hope it is clear, right? Now, second one the only question is selling price of two products are same. Same idea. Selling price of two products are same. Selling price of two products are same. Selling price of two products are same. Price of two products are same. same thing. First transaction is profit percentage is 20 percentage. Loss percentage is 25 percentage. 20 percentage is 1 by 5. That means if the cost price is 5, profit is 1. Selling price will be 6. This is 1 by 4. If the cost price is 4, loss is 1. Selling price will be 3. Selling price is 3. But what is the question? Selling price of two products are same. This is 6, this is 3. They both are different. Make it same. Make it same, LCM of 3 and 6 is 6. So, 5, 1, 6. Multiply by 2. 8, 2, 6. That means, total cost price will become 5 plus 8, 13. Total selling price will become 6 plus 6, 12. Cost price greater than selling price. Again, loss. Loss is 1 by 13. 7.7 .7 approximately. Very, very easy to understand. Not only for the cost price of two products, selling price of two products, n products you can use the logic. I hope it is clear. Write down third question, just for our understanding. Third one. Last percentage is, just when try to solve entire profit loss and discount by using these fractions, it will be very easy for you. Third one. Third one. Third and fourth are very easy. Just I am showing you how to solve. I am sure you must be, right, solving like this. In case if you are not solving like this, try to solve like this. Last percentage is 25 percentage. Selling price is 240. Cost price is how much? Cost price is 48. Profit percentage is 37.5. Selling price is how much? Discount percentage is 20 percentage. Selling price is 100. What is market price? Markup percentage is 25 percentage. Market price is 120. Cost price. These are all very, very easy questions. Loss is 25 percentage, selling price is 240. What is cost price? Cost price is 48, profit is 37.5, selling price. Discount is 20 percentage, selling price is 100, market price how much? Markup is 25 percentage, market price is 120, cost price. See here. Once it is over, try to solve entire profit loss and discount by using this. First one. Last percentage is 25 percentage, which is 1 by 4. If the cost price is 4, loss is 1. Cost price is 4, loss is 1. Selling price will be 3. But I don't want 3. I want 240 into 80. 320. Again, I am repeating. Cost price is 4, loss is 1, selling price will be 3. But according to the question, selling price is not 3 but 240. 
380s are 240, 480s are 320. Now once you understand, 4th, 5th and 6th are very easy. You don't need to, 4th one. What is 4th one? Profit percentage is 37.5. <coughs> profit percentage is 3 by 8. Cost price is 8. Profit is 3. Profit is 3. Selling price is 11. But it is not 8. It is 48 into 6. 11, 6 are 66. Or multiplication factors. Try to solve 5th and 6th. Try to. Right after this one, please try to solve profit loss and discount by using this right multiplication factors. You will find it very easier. Fifth one. Discount percentage is discount percentage is 1 by 5. Discount is always calculated on market price. Market price is 5. Discount is 1. That means I sold it for 4 rupees. But according to the question, it is 100 into 25. 5 into 25, 125. Discount is always calculated on market price. The price marked on the product is 5, on that I gave a discount 1. So selling price will become 4. Sixth one. Area clear? Right? Sixth one. Markup is always calculated on cost price. Markup percentage is 1 by 4. The price marked on the product is 4. I bought the product for 4 rupees. I increased the price by 1 rupee and I placed a new sticker with the marked price 5. But according to the question, it is 120. 524 is 120. 424 is 96. 424 is 96. Percentage convert into fraction and try to solve. Markup. markup is, suppose the price mark, the I went to a shop and I bought this marker for 12 rupees. There is no seal on this marker. I came to ANC, attached a seal of ANC logo here and I said to my student that this marker costs 15 rupees. What is the price at which I purchased the product? 12. What is the price marked on the product? 50. That is markup. That is markup. Right? Just a glimpse of looking at it in terms of multiplication factors. Next. Side addict. 